What's going on, guys? Welcome back. It is Steve. It's been a while, almost a year, but there was something I needed to learn in Final Cut Pro that I finally did to make editing a little easier for me. And I figured there's probably a lot of people out there who want to learn how to do this easily. And it is really easy. So simple. I have one of my Final Cut Pro sessions up that I need to edit the audio and video. When I edit the audio, I've been like playing sections and messing with the EQ and then the audio just goes way past and I have to stop it and bring it all the way back. So what I'm going to teach you all is how to loop your playback. So you could just select a clip of it and it'll just play and loop and loop and loop. So you could tweak your EQ, your compressor and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about the bar going past where you're talking. Like if I'm doing a reaction video, there are gaps where I don't even talk. So this is how you do it. We'll get into um, Final Cut right now. So here we have one of my sessions up, as you can see. And basically, when you are in here for the first time and you really don't mess with anything, you will have here your select, you know, your select tool. And then up here in view in playback, nothing will be listed here, right? So this is all you have to do. It's really, really simple. The first thing I do, I go to view, playback, loop playback or command L. All right. Second thing I do, I go down here to my pointer and I turn into range selection. Then I go to the beginning of my reaction video, because as you can see, this is where I'm talking mostly. And then once the reaction starts, there's really gaps between when I talk. So I would pick a pretty good, you know, section right here, maybe 10 seconds with the selector tool. And I'll just do that again. All you do is go in here, range selection, and then just click where you want to start, drag where you want to end. So about eight seconds. Now you do not press the space bar. So this is what happens when you press the space bar. It just goes, it goes, it goes. And then will it loop? No, it'll go right by it. So what you have to do is hit the button with the question mark if you're on Mac. So on the bottom by the shift key, there's the question mark. Go back to the beginning, hit that button. Now it should loop. Play, play, play. There it goes. And there you go. It'll loop. So all you have to do is that. And while it's looping, then you could go in and mess with all of your audio filters, your EQ, your compression. You don't have to worry about it going too far. And you have your headphones on, you could hear the changes and you, you really don't have to worry about much. So I'll just go through that one more time really quick. You hit view, playback, loop playback or command L. Then you go into this section right here. It will be on select tool. You change it to range selection. Then you come out here to your audio or your video and you just drag a section. And then you do not hit the space bar, you hit the question mark. And that is how you loop your audio in Final Cut Pro. This is so, so easy to do. And I just never knew how to do it. And just this little, little tip and trick probably would save me probably five to 10 minutes. And that's a lot when you're editing for an hour. I mean, it saves you some time. I mean, granted, you can save your vocal presets and then just drop it on top every time. But sometimes you're using different cameras, different microphones, different lenses, and you might be different, you know, further away from it. So you can't always use a preset and you have to edit your audio. And this is how you loop your audio so you could do it easily. Hopefully I helped at least one person out there. If this was confusing to you, just let me know in the comments below. But I think it's really straightforward. So... That's it. Let me know. Was this helpful? Did it not work? If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll answer them. And hopefully I'll see you soon on my next video. Peace, guys.